similarly stated voltage it is the ability to move charges so it is the ability to move charges its unit is as we all know it's volts so we all know that when charges have a net directional movement we can say that there is a current flow suppose if you have a resistor say of 5 ohm and you need a current of 1 ampere through it so what will you do we know that we have to apply some voltage how much voltage we need to apply for 1 ampere of current to flow through 5 ohm we can calculate it using ohm's law that is v is equal to ir i need 1 ampere of current through 5 ohm resistor so i need to apply 5 volts so if i apply 5 volts i can cause a current of 1 ampere through 5 ohm what if i want to increase the current so i have to be able to move more charges right so to do that suppose i need a current of say 2 ampere so instead of 1 ampere i need 2 ampere of current to flow so what should be the voltage i need to apply so it can again be calculated as v is equal to ir now i need 2 ampere and i have to cause the current flow through a resistance of 5 ohm so i need 10 volts so as we can see that as we improved as we increased the ability to move charges more charges moved and caused more current to flow now an important point to remember here is that having a voltage or a potential difference doesn't ensure current flow now here consider this simple simple case we have a battery now if the battery is sitting idle it still has a potential to move charges right but there is no current flow right now the reason is that there are no charge carriers so in this case with no conductors connected across these two terminals we have no current flow still this battery has the potential to move charge so there is an voltage across it right so reason for no current flow in this case is there are no charge carriers to move because it is surrounded by air which is an insulator we have said that insulator have scarcity of free electrons now what should we do so that some current flow through it the answer is you have to just connect these two terminals using some conductor so now conductors these conductors have large number of free electrons now the current can flow this concept that means an voltage can exist even without current flow this concept is really important when we talk about a barrier potential in pn junction devices what we have discussed here is that the voltage when we apply an voltage it has a tendency to cause some current to flow provided there are sufficient charge carriers now let's take a look at the standard definition so voltage is the work done per unit charge to move the test charge between two points so it talks about the movement of charges right suppose you have two points let's say a and b so the potential difference or the electric potential difference between these two points is the work done to move a unit charge from point a to point b and the energy that spent say let's say 1 joule amp of energy <laughs> let's say 1 let's say 1 joule of energy <laughs> let's say 1 joule of energy is spent per 1 coulomb of charge we can say that there is a potential difference electron pot electric potential difference or voltage of 1 volt across it so the unit of voltage is volts and it's 1 joule per coulomb 